So we've seen a flurry of big business and money news from across the country in recent days, sending a slew of signals about how Canada's economy is faring. Today, the Bank of Canada hit pause on plans to raise interest rates as it sizes up business investment and the health of the oil patch. And as for oil, we saw Alberta's premier take extraordinary measures, announcing the province is cutting production to try and shore up prices for its crude. Now, here in Toronto, the latest real estate numbers are out. Treb says the number of home sales in the GTA has dropped by a quarter compared to a year ago. But prices are still up, 3.5% overall. So lots to consider, and maybe the elephant in the room is an economic slowdown in the cards. So here to help us make sense of it all is CIBC economist Catherine Judd. Thank you uh, for coming in. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate that. So, Let's talk about that first, that elephant. Are we seeing a slowdown in the economy given all these indicators? Um, I think Canada's economy is approaching full employment and we're also feeling the impact of higher interest rates. Mm -hmm. We're seeing that in housing. We've seen tighter mortgage lending conditions and that's something that is leading to a bit of a slowdown, but that's as to be expected with higher interest rates. But you said jobs are being filled. Correct. The mm -hmm. economy is reaching full employment, um, but still higher interest rates will limit um, the housing activity gains mm -hmm. going forward. Uh, let's talk about Alberta because uh, that's also going to be a big topic uh, this week at the First Minister's meeting uh, when the uh, Prime Minister meets with the Alberta Premier. So uh, Alberta's taking that unusual step of cutting its production quota to help buoy prices. If that doesn't work, how much will it affect Canada's economy at large? So what the Alberta government has done is they've mandated these production cuts, which is negative for growth in the coming two quarters. But over the medium term, that term that'll allow producers to draw down their inventories, which are actually elevated. And that's very supportive for oil prices and producers. Um, so overall, this could be a positive for the Alberta economy towards the end of next year. And this is a little difficult for consumers to understand because consumers uh, think in terms of oil prices at the at the pumps. Right. And, you know, uh, a lower oil price is better for consumers, mm -hmm. but it's not good for the economy overall, especially Canada with our oil sands. Right. So it's not good for Alberta's economy in particular. Ontarians could benefit from a lower price of gas, mm -hmm. um, especially we're approaching the holiday season. That could put some more money in consumers' pockets to spend on those purchases. Yeah, but we have to think about the greater good, too, don't mm -hmm. we? <laughs> we do. Uh, so in Toronto, we talked about uh, homes today with, uh, with Treb. So the supply of homes has been going down. The mm -hmm. measures that the province have taken seem to be working, right. seem to be uh, constricting the market here. So uh, is the market headed for a correction? Do you think? Um, well, what we see as being significant is that there's actually a large amount of condos under construction right now. Mm -hmm. So when those hit the market, we do see the potential for some downward pressure on condo prices. Um, in terms of the single family homes, we see those prices as leveling off. So the downward pressure on the condo mm -hmm. prices, does right. that mean that the pricing will, stable, will, will stabilize a little more? Because uh, we're not seeing the bidding wars like we used to see even just last year. Right. So prices are well off their peaks, and that's what we'd expect with the interest rate environment and regulatory environment that we're in. Mm -hmm. But we do see that downward pressure on prices as the supply hits the market and interest rates are even higher. Um, the the feeling of Canadians right now, watching all this happen, the, the constrictions that are happening, and then we also see the markets right. that have uh, taken a bit of a tumble over the last uh, few days. Yeah. Should we be worried about our own portfolios and our and where we're investing for our retirement? Um, I think what's most important for Canadians right now is uh, Canadians tend to have high levels of debt and the Bank of Canada signaled today that um, they might not be taking interest rates as high as they previously thought. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a positive in terms of Canadians carrying debt because the service costs will be lower. Right. Okay. Well, Catherine, thank you for uh, sharing your wisdom. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Okay.